In this video, we're going to talk about disaccharides. Disaccharides are carbohydrates that contain two sugar units. The first one we're going to talk about is sucrose. Sucrose is composed of the monosaccharides glucose and fructose. Sucrose is basically table sugar. You've seen it almost every day. Now let's draw the structure of sucrose. So this is glucose. I'm going to draw this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. Glucose is the structure on the left. It forms a six-membered ring. Fructose is the structure on the right. It forms a five-membered ring. But both glucose and fructose contain six carbon atoms. They have the same chemical formula, C6, H12O6. So that's the structure of sucrose. Now the bond that holds them together, that connects glucose and fructose, this is known as a glycosidic bond. One thing I do want to mention is that these endpoints here are not carbon atoms. It may look like a carbon atom, but it's not. So sometimes you could draw it this way if you want to avoid the confusion. So now it doesn't look like a carbon atom. So that's how you can draw the structure of sucrose. To make sucrose, we need to combine glucose and fructose. They both have the same chemical formula, C6H12O6. The chemical formula for sucrose is C12H22O11. And the only thing that's missing to balance the equation is water. So this is an example of a dehydration synthesis reaction. It's dehydration because we're losing water but it's also a synthesis reaction because we're taking two smaller components, glucose and fructose, and we're synthesizing sucrose. Now, let's say if we were to start with sucrose and we were to add water into it, you may need to add an acid catalyst to speed up the process. But sucrose plus water can go in reverse. It can break down into glucose and fructose. So in this direction, the reaction is no longer a dehydration synthesis reaction, but it's called a hydrolysis reaction. Hydro, we're using water. Lysis means to split apart. So we're using water to split apart sucrose into its component forms, glucose and fructose. Now there are some other disaccharides that you need to be familiar with. One of them is lactose. Lactose is basically milk sugar. Lactose is a disaccharide made up of glucose and its C4 epimer, galactose. Another disaccharide is maltose. Maltose is composed of two units of glucose. So those are some disaccharides that you may need to be familiar with. Lactase, whenever you hear the end in ACE, that is an enzyme. Lactase is the enzyme that breaks down lactose into glucose and galactose. 
So notice the difference between lactose and lactase. Whenever you see the suffix os, that tells you you're dealing with a carbohydrate. Think of glucose, fructose, galactose. It tells you it's a sugar. But if you hear the word ace or the suffix ace, you're dealing with a protein-based enzyme. So that's it for this video. So now you're familiar with the three most common disaccharides, lactose, maltose, and sucrose.